WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. And currently we have a little bit of a mixed bag out here. You've got the Dow off 54 points and the New York Stock Exchange is down 83. Otherwise, all the other U.S. indices trading the upside. The S&P is up a couple. NASDAQ is up seven tenths. We're setting 108 points. Russell's up two tenths or about four points. Goldilocks up $20 trading at 1861. Silver 43 pennies, nearly 2% to the upside. And the 30-year Treasury back one point in four tenths. She's trained out at 151.17. Let's go take a look at our nine panel market update chart. We begin by taking a look at the ES Mini. Now, if the ES Mini is trading back into the July 24th swing point, if it closes the day above 44.2750, based upon the volume inside the spies, you'll have a test and rejection of a key swing point on later volume. That would suggest moving back up to the 45.70 level. Of course, it's still always going to be a struggle to move higher for the S&P and the ES Mini, while that spot volatility index remains above its 50-day exponential moving average. That's priced at 2069. Spot VIX right now trading out at 2863. In the case of the NQ, she's also trading inside her January 24th swing point, but it would need to close above 14582 or a test of the low of the swing point. That low of the swing point out here is uh, 13706. So it has to test either of those to give you some type of rejection. If it doesn't, Price is pulling back certainly to support the bottom of its daily profile, but a true rejection would be getting outside of that swing point. You've got the U.S. dollar index moving higher. That's our flight to quality out here. Uh, and that's uh, likely headed to the top of its daily profile at the 96.62 uh, level. Gold is trading into a swing point. I believe it's doing it with lighter volume. It's trading in the swing point from November the uh, 16th out there. But it closed today above 1863. Volume or not would suggest testing the top of that swing point, maybe taking it out, and that would be at the 1884 level. So you've got gold really at a resistance point, the bottom of that swing point, while silver is at a resistance point, and that's the top of its daily profile, and that's priced at the 2480. The 2392 level. Light sweet crude still remains uh, bullish out here. Uh, natural gas is having a bit of a bounce. The question is, is this just a counter trend move? And at this stage here, I'm going to go with the answer is yes. Now, if it closes above $4.48 out here, then maybe it's got some room to run up to about the 444 level. And the 30 year bond on Friday it confirmed a Rhodes Momentum Indicator buy pattern out there. The price is going to need to close above 152.30 to give us a, uh, a significant kind of a bottom. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Zed Show. But if you're off to start your Monday, have a magnificent one. We'll look forward to seeing you again soon.